It's um Thursday and I I'm not done with anything I planned on doing. I finished a couple characters. My goal is to finish like at least ten characters. So I can fill up like a little portfolio of characters, but I'm only I only have about three right now. So and it's Thursday. Cons in two days and I haven't imprinted nothing. Um um I have ideas. I don't know if I'm gonna execute. I just posted this art huh? right here. Announcing that I'm gonna be at Lightbox on Saturday. So if you're gonna be there, it's Monday. You're probably seeing this after Lightbox, so I don't know. Um, but this is the art I did for it. Anyways, we'll see if I finish the portfolio. I'm pretty sure I will, though. I, I, I always, I always do. So I have to find a frame. I need to find a frame for this Pokemon drawing that I have. Frame should I get? Okay. This is 11 by 14 frame. Seems to fit. But I think it'll cut off a lot. I think I would do a little bit bigger. Alright, I'm looking for a sketchbook to take the light box to have artists draw in it. This one looks pretty cool. Look at this one. I just don't like the spirals on it. Oh shoot. This one right here. This one might be the one. I want it to be like an art book. And I feel like this one would be good. If I can get if I can fill up 64 pages and one day that'd be pretty crazy i don't see that happening now but taking a light box every year between this one or this one these two let's figure it out i always draw when i'm here that one's pretty good i always draw the same thing when i'm here my hat and my hair it looks so goofy my beard Gotta draw the beard. Hoodie. So I just got home and we are going to be framing the Pokemon print. If you guys haven't been following me on Instagram and watching the journey of me drawing all 151 Pokemon, technically 152 because we drew Togepi, but uh, I got a frame for it. Somebody purchased the original drawing and they requested that I frame it for them before I ship it. So I'm excited to, sh to frame it. So we're gonna do that real quick. Uh, I'm excited that somebody bought it. I can't even explain to you guys how happy that makes me that somebody purchased my artwork. Also, we got the sketchbook for Lightbox. So the plan for this is I'm gonna have, I'm gonna try to talk to a bunch of people, right? Like come out of my comfort zone. I don't like to chat really, I'm like to myself. I'm like a loner, man, I'm a lone wolf. But I'm gonna chat as much as I can and everybody I chat to, I'm gonna see like, hey, could you just doodle in my sketchbook? It's gonna be like a, uh, it's like a yearbook type of thing or like scrapbook, like I've been there type of book or like I was at Lightbox 2024, here's, here's proof. Something like that, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna do that, but uh, that's the idea. Hopefully I'm not like too shy to talk to people. It sounds weird saying shy when I'm like an adult. I don't know, it just sounds weird. Like I'm too shy to talk to people. All right, okay, whatever. Let's uh, let's 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 frame this drawing, all right? Okay, so I got a 12 by 16. I don't know if you can even see that. A 12 by 16. The print is 11 by 14, and it's because I wanted like a little bit of like wiggle room. Nobody told me picture frames are expensive. This picture frame was like 60 bucks. Why do they cost so much money nowadays? Uh, I like this one because it's like easy to open, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These just like. Okay, we'll just keep it in the plastic for now and just see how it looks. I mean, it looks sick, but I think I would just have to take off the plastic? Yeah, because the plastic is giving like a little extra glare and you can see like the creases in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do that. But other than that, I think it looks so sick in a frame better than i expected all right let's pack this up uh update it's friday the convention is tomorrow and i am not done i mean i drew a lot i started this project on monday yeah and the goal is a week do as many characters as i can i'm about 10 characters in i think i want to do four more it's uh three o'clock right now cons tomorrow i still have to print all this and i did this before I always do this actually, I wait till the last minute. I was up till four in the morning last night drawing, so um, have faith in me, all right? 
Maybe the next shot will be me holding the physical portfolio in my hand. That's the next shot, okay? I promise. Okay, um, bye. Um, it's four in the morning. I'm gonna leave for the con right now. My plan was to leave at two in the morning. I just finished these, but here's how they look. Um, it's like a notebook. And then you open it. it. Has a little bit about me, a little joke, running joke I do every year. It says, uh, this looks scannable. Um, there's a typo in this one. I actually fixed it in the new ones I'm printing right now. If you wanna read that, go ahead, pause. Uh, just a few characters. I did all these characters this week. Not these characters though. When I show this off, I have to explain that there's characters I did in a week and then these first characters I did not. But these characters, all in the same, actually today, all of them. All these characters, today, uh, today, or yesterday, today, all these characters. I'll just skim through the whole thing. And then it's all my sketchbook, um, sketchbook pages. I'll just show you guys the end. And then there's that one that I did also today. Uh, and then the end joke. Uh, dude, you didn't scan it, and now he's unscannable. You made him drop his last four french fries. And the scan dude is like, I have a family. And his fries are like spilled everywhere, his last four french fries. And then on the back, another QR code. And I'm just saying, I wonder what happens when you scan that. So it's like, bro, you better scan that. But um, I actually added another scan. Anyways, in the beginning, when he pulls it, it clicks, right? And then when you get to this page, it's like a trap door opens. And it says, crack. And then the QR code comes falling. And then Maddie Madison Rabbit says, oh, look, that QR code dude is back. Pretty cool. Anyways, that's it. That's a book. That's a, let's go give these out of light boxes. Let's go. I'm tired. I can't even explain to you how tired I am. I don't know how I'm going to do it today. Goodbye. Okay, Yes. Thank you. You're all set. Have a good one. Light box. I don't know if the mic is working. If you can hear me, you can hear me. Okay. Let's just glance at all the aisles. I guess we'll start at the beginning. in line to talk to some recruiters I'm hoping but I don't know the lines are hella crazy and I don't even know if you guys can hear me if you guys can hear me I'm gonna do a voice over okay future me here I'm watching the footage back and I'm realizing my mic was not on for like a lot of this part while I was like talking about what I was doing so I went and waited in line for the tip mouse recruiter to give them my portfolio but I had a portfolio review with Paramount at one o'clock. So I was waiting in the line for Titmouse for like 45 minutes maybe. And it was kind of clashing with the time for my Paramount portfolio review. So literally by the time I got up to the Titmouse, I just handed them my portfolio and I was like apologizing. I was like, I'm sorry, but I have another portfolio review. If I could just leave this here and just get your name and contact and all that. And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, no problem. Just take my, um, they gave me your, their link tree or whatever. They're like, just take the link tree and apply on link tree and then you should be good. And I was like, I feel, I feel like I hella, Tip Mouse, I hella wanted to like talk to them. I talked to them two years ago, I think. 
and I wanted to chat again because I had a portfolio I wanted to give them but yeah I'm just realizing now my mic was not working but uh also, I randomly stopped at Supercell, the mobile game company, and man, they were like so cool. They, they gave me like a lot of information. I'm gonna put that whole conversation in here. So it's, it's kind of long, it's like two minutes. Go ahead and watch it. And you can hear how I talk to like the uh, animation studios. Uh, hope you enjoy. Um, sorry if it's kind of boring. Okay, bye. Yes. Thank you. You can take, take any of these uh, postcards if you want. Yeah, uh, uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. It's good to have. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whatever you want, anything. It's all for free. Uh, this one. I can take more than one. Yeah, of course. Right. Yeah. It's like Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, it's like Dragon Ball Z for sure. They brawl stars? No. Wait. Maybe. I know a little bit of Blender, but I mostly know Maya. I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. Is it mobile? Yeah, mobile game. No. You make games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's sick. What is this one about? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's a community post, probably. So it's a uh, fan from Brawl Stars. Oh, but they just made it like Dragon Ball Z. Oh, so it's, a, it's like fighting or? Uh, yeah, Brawl Stars is PvP. Oh, okay. It's very fun. That's cool. I gotta check it out. Damn, I love it. The altist, the altist. Me? I'm 2D. Oh, you're 2D. Can I show you something? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Let me put this down. So I drew all these characters yesterday. Oh my goodness. Not the front ones, but. So like halfway through it turns into my sketchbook. The sketchbook yeah, stuff's old, but this is all yesterday. Or oh, technically yesterday. the night before, but I stood up all night till like four in the morning. Printed so quick. I, my printer, oh my god. I was up to like five today so printing. Yeah. And the plan was to make twenty at least. I only made eight because my printer's so slow. But yeah, I was just going crazy. I do it every year. I, I I make like a deadline like a week before Lightbox. So I'm like, okay, if I could do like ten characters and make a whole new portfolio just for the show. Uh, hopefully something uh this is so cute. Really, really thank cute. you. Little fighter guy. And are you interested in working in games or um actually I am. Um I'm just started messing around with Blender. Okay, nice. Because I like doing 2D but I want to turn my characters into 3D oh, so nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. it would be I, I would love it. It would be cool. Yeah do it. Is it um Blender? You guys don't use Blender, do you? No we do. You guys do? We transitioned a lot sure, of stuff to Blender in the past year. So oh. if you know Blender, that's a great, great Yeah, game. I literally just built my PC like a week ago, so. Nice. And I'm, so I'm like, just for Blender, so I'm like, damn, I finally got to do it. Yeah, dude, this stuff is really cute. Thank you, man. I would say that if you're interested in working in games, particularly somewhere like Supercell, oh, so you are, uh, having your characters you work in like a game mock-up setup. So, you know, if they're in a little environment oh, okay, within the game view, so if it's a top-down game, draw them. Oh. Draw Game setups, or if it's dark, maybe it's just have your guy. Maybe draw some UI if you have an idea of like UI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 2D artists at Supercell, they have a very broad There's some people that went to like the game, like double down, jump on the game, down. start doing UI, start doing characters, start doing environments. It's like a big thing. Yeah. That's so cool, like, I've never even thought about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is nice for like maybe animation studios. Yeah. You know, they just do a character turn around, you know, and then they do whatever with it. Yeah. But <laughs> games, it's all about functionality. It's all about like, what's the purpose of everything? What's, you know, how does the character work in the environment? Hey, that's cool because I was going in like blind, not knowing it. I was just drawing. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna add this, add this, add this. Great. But I don't know like anything, but it's cool that like now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like if, if you're here next year, you'll see me with a new one. Yeah, yeah. It'll be all the game, games, yeah, yeah, a whole yeah. new game in a week. But I appreciate that, man. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you. Because like, I can totally yeah. see this guy, like, I don't know, side scroller. I actually, my, my friend makes games on uh, Blender. I actually pitched it to him. I was like, like a Super Meat Boy kind of, but uh, fighting. Or Scott Pilgrim, like Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, something like that. But man, if I could do it myself, I think it would be, or some of it, some of it. That would be cool, but. Thank you, man. Do you have a um, business card, contact information? Uh, I've got LinkedIn. LinkedIn? Yeah, I don't have a business card, but... Um, okay, I can I put your... Uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I'll put it in my notes, just so I could, um... um okay, what was your name? I'm sorry. Uh, Joel Alexander, J-O-E-L. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay.
I'm going to reach out. I'm going to show you my game stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a shop. Nice one. Mobile, most everything is you got. Leave two together. It's basically this and all, but a bunch of beauty artists. That's, uh, that's, and there's a couple of beauty artists as well. Put together a little art book um, if you chat to us and if you're interested. Yeah, yeah. And it has like what you said, the UI and all that? No, so this, this one's a little crazier. This one's like they just told the artist, draw something for this art book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a bunch of random stuff. Oh, so it's like their postcard. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Like some, yeah, you can do UI work. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Okay, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah, nice it was you. Sorry. Jesse. Jesse, nice to meet you. And then it's like all over that yeah, thing. Yeah, but no, do you mind if I keep it? No, yeah, it's for you. I made, a, I made eight. Yeah, yeah, but dude, yeah, yeah, thank, thank you. you. I appreciate it. Here, let me give you one of these, too. I have a um, business card also. Oh, cool. Awesome. Thanks, man. Dragon Ball Z related also. So. Oh, yeah. I love Toriyama. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Nice meeting you. Hey, you, you have a better day because it's crazy over here. I'll see you later. Yeah. It's this way and down this road, as soon as you get past this uh, donut shop, the parking lot is behind it. This is the parking lot. How do you get your reference? You go still take pictures or you just I take pictures, uh take my iPad and like I'll finish in Photoshop or whatever, something oh, like that. Oh that's dope. The... Damn. This one five? Yeah, that's five. Okay, I'll take that one too then. Okay, and that one. I came here, you were here in 2022, right? Yeah, yeah. I came to your booth, but I was like waiting, and like you weren't here, and I was like, where the hell? Was oh, I probably had to go do something. Uh, yeah, and I was just like chilling for a minute, and I came back, I was like, damn, I hella wanted. I don't know which one it was, I think it was this one I had, hella oh, wanted. Sick. But now, like these two. Yeah, this one I actually just did last week. For real? Yeah, so I, wanted to, I wanted to put it on the banner, so I was like, oh, I'll get to put it on the banner. Damn. There you go, man. That's dope, man, thank you. Thank you. Is that? Thank you. I appreciate it. Chase because I want to get my art something, like a comic book something. One of the uh, convention? I don't know what happened. for a spot where I get tickets. I need to find a ticket for a room I'm trying to attend. I need one. I'm looking for room 209 and room 210. You should know her. 209 and 210. Is it too early to get a ticket for uh, 4.30? 4.30 room? Yes. You'll yes, have to come like an hour early, right? It, there's a time Oh. 315 I would have to be here? Okay. Thank you. Of course, yeah. Alright, so right now I'm looking for a panel. It's like super hard to get into the panels because you have to be at the right exact time and I cannot figure it out. I already missed like six panels or seven panels that I was trying to get to. I missed them all. Alright, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. They're all not time for any of them yet. Hmm. Do you, do you know where Ballroom G would be? Ballroom G. Um, yeah. Okay, so are you on the map right now? Yeah. Let's. Alright. We're looking for Ballroom. Ball, ballroom G. Ballroom G. Creature design? 
Ballroom G. Thank you. It's so packed down here, there's like so many people. So many. future me uh, this part was crazy I had a portfolio review with someone from Paramount and I showed them my portfolio I was here for like an hour and a half waiting uh, probably longer than that the portfolio reviews lasted an hour I was the last one to get one and I got there 20 minutes early I was there for a good two hours I would say like most of my day I was probably here waiting for my portfolio review. Uh, it was crazy like I showed them my portfolio and everybody has the same reaction when I show them my art They're like wow like it's so good like why aren't you working in animation yet? Or why don't you have a job in animation? And it's just like, I just asked him the same thing. I was like, do you really like, like it? Like, is it, you're not just saying that? And he's like, he's like, no, I think this is good. And I explained to him like, oh, I drew all these characters like basically yesterday. And he's like, no way, like you drew them that fast. I'm like, yeah, I mean, I was like, I mean, they're cartoon characters. They're basically stick figures. So it, it was, it didn't take me that long. I think if I was to like polish them and color all of them it would have took me longer but I only colored a few but I explained to him like I did it pretty fast and this is how I did it fast and he just basically had like no critique really for me besides saying I should include more polished work in my portfolio uh I asked about turnarounds should I have five point he said five points good uh, he recommends doing five point turnarounds but I said should I do them in poses like have five point turnarounds but in poses and he said he doesn't think I need to do that uh, he said what I had was basically perfect and then I showed him my website portfolio not my book portfolio I showed him first I showed him my book and then I showed him my website and he just like honestly he literally like jumped out of his chair he was like what and I was just like I was like bro he's like hyping me up he was like literally he was literally over hyping me man I don't know I was just excited because I was like, man, everybody says the same thing about my art, but I, I never worked in animation before. I even told him, he's like, oh, you have a job right now or anything? I'm like, nope, never worked in animation, didn't go to school, nothing. So I'm just like, what do I do? And he just recommended that I reach out to recruiters. That should be like my next thing I do. Just constantly reach out to recruiters. And I told him I hate, I don't really like to do that because I mean, I like, I, if I knew them, I would, but I feel like I'm bugging and then I feel like everything is a transaction like when i was at this convention the light box i would hear people talk and interact and everything just sounded like a transaction like people were trying to sell something to another person to like get a follower or to get someone to view the portfolio and i i can't do that like there's so many people i talk to at the con that have jobs in animation but i never once asked them for like a, a reference or a referral or anything like to help me get a job I, like the most i've asked was like i didn't even ask actually like everybody i met at the convention i'll be like oh here's my portfolio it's my business card take you can have that uh my name's all over it if you want to like check out the socials and but i mean maybe i'm the stupid one maybe i should be asking people like i always say this too was like arzelli i'm not like a salesman but i mean it doesn't seem genuine to me when you when you meet people and you're only meeting them to try to get in to animation like me, I genuinely, like, I met a couple people and I genuinely only wanted to meet them because I love their art. I had no other intentions. Uh, like, literally, I met, like, St. Chase, uh, Chase Connolly, and I was literally at his booth for, like, I would say over an hour just watching him draw. And then I finally, like, got to speak with him because, like, everybody was, like, waiting in line. And we literally just, I just talked to him and asked him, like, oh, how did it feel to have, like, your Spider-Man drawing in the Spider-Man game? And, he just explained it to me. I'll put that whole clip in here. Like, we talked for a minute. Uh, but, yeah, anyways, my portfolio view, I'm yapping. My portfolio view was, like, perfect. Like, I mean, he said I was hella good. Uh, I look at my art, and I feel like it does not look... There's nothing that catches my eye. Like, my art, I feel like I'm, I'm just, like, drawing. 
and nothing is like uh amazing there's only been like two or three drawings i've done in the past year i'm just like damn i did that i feel like that with other people like do they see my art and it's just like whatever to them because that's how i feel but then it's my art i know like artists don't like their own art typically but i'm yapping let's get back to the video portfolio review was good gave me some good feedback great feedback and i met a couple other people too waiting for portfolio reviews that actually like were really nice people too we all traded like uh business cards and all that and i got some mutuals out of it so i did it i talked to a few people i can't got out of my shell and i chatted with like three people all right let's get back to the video <laughs> I just finished a portfolio review and the dude basically basically said I was amazing and I should be working. You guys can hear me. Sorry about that. I just finished drawing using the Adobe Fresco. That's Ross, dude. Ross rolls, dude. Ross. I come to the lectures. Anyways, I'm on the hunt for Chase Connolly. I need to get an art print from him and the con closes in 30 minutes and it took me like 30 minutes to get to his booth earlier so I'm hoping I can get one <laughs> incognito yeah I do my art everything but I'm just testing it out here's my first time taking it out The bag, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is dry. Oh, this is I don't know. I just did it right now, so I don't think it's okay, dry. Let me sit for a minute. You got any more shows planned? No, nah, it's my last one of the year, man. I've been all around. Yeah. Uh, doing so much this this, this summer. That's um, tight, though. But I might I might do DreamCon next year. Oh, I hell want to do DreamCon. Bring me back again, you know? That's like, dope. It was dope. Um, I rarely table at conventions, you know what I mean? So yeah. that might be the one I table at. Um, you, you tabled this year there? Big one at DreamCon? Yeah. They gave me a table, I didn't know I was going to have one. Oh, that's dope. So, you know, they had me as a kid with like a, the guest tables, not the artist alley tables. And I wasn't prepared, I just was going to do like some press stuff, to go see the show, you know, film a couple podcasts while I was there. Yeah. Uh, but they looked at, they, they, they hooked it up and I, I didn't know that they were going to do that. That's dope. So I wasn't at my table. <laughs> yeah. I was out. I was out on the show floor. Though. I was still, like supporting other people. Uh, so if you do it myself. next year, you're gonna do it. You're gonna get a table. Definitely. Hell yeah.
You're gonna be streaming more then, yeah? I hope so. You always be streaming hella late though. I'm always like catching the beginning and knocking out. Yeah, it's uh, cause it's typically when I'm done working for the day. And you know, I'm on like uh, LA time, so. Yeah. It makes it a little difficult. I prefer to start during the day, to be told, but. I think the nighttime ones are better though, the vibes. I don't know what it is. I like drawing at night. Yeah, I feel like most people that pop in are people that are uh, they're also working. Yeah, yeah. So, Going above and beyond, man. We have a one small When did you find out it was going to be in the game, the suit? At uh, PlayStation State of Play. That's when you found out, just basically what everybody else did? Yeah. Dan, how did you feel? Crazy. That's it's crazy. I mean, I kind of had an idea, Yeah. if I'm being honest, but that's because my boy Torrin Clark, shout out to Torrin, they asked him, he was the cover artist for this run? Yeah. Like, he painted that, the white Yeah, cover. all his covers are so dope. Yeah, you know, so, he, they asked him to, Insomniac asked him to do a pass of a design. Uh -huh. And he was like, he hit me and he was like, yo, can I use your logo? Like the triangular one? I was like, hell yeah. And whenever he put it on his design, apparently Insomniac was like, you can't use that place. Really? And they wouldn't tell him why. Oh, but they already had it planned. Yeah, they, they, they had already, they were going to use it. You know what I mean? That's my design, so. That's hell of a do you, you get like royalties from the, the DLC? Nah, I'm work, I was work for hire for Marvel. So ah, okay. They own that design. That's the way the cookie crumbles. They own it, bro, but it's yours. Yeah, they. I, I feel like they did a good job of um, putting my, attaching my name to it and stuff. You know? Yeah, um, yeah. In a way that they, I feel like they didn't necessarily have to do. I love the. Um, isn't it like infrared? You did like the Jordan yeah. infrared? Yeah, that's what. That's what. It's that color, to be like you know, like uh, it's a little bit different than like the infrared jays, like the sixes, but it's inspired by the sixes. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's supposed to be like, like a real hot, a hot red. Yeah. But to people that reads pink, I guess it all depends on, you know, on the person. Yeah. Marvel Legends, they made it red, red. get some food after this? Definitely. Thank you, brother. It's, so, a bit, like, it's all good. Yeah, man. It's gritty. That's hella dope. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you supporting. Bro, thank you. you need Alright, show's over. What are you going to do with farm school training? Yeah. my feet It's the end of the show. It's the end of the con, and I feel like I didn't get anything done. stickers and I can't get my stickers. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna say is if you're planning on coming to Lightbox Expo, you don't do one day. If it's possible for you, one day is not enough. If you can do more than one day, try for three, Two might be okay, but you need to come to three days. I came to the show with a list of panels I want to do, people I want to meet, and I didn't do one panel, and I only met two people that I wanted to meet. I met Chase, I met Nick Mundo, I met Rika, uh, my portfolio review, um, that's it. I met one person at Titmouse. I met somebody at Supercell, but those were like unplanned. But I literally had like a notes Every like other hour, those was a panel I was gonna hit. Boom, 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 boom. I had it all scheduled out. But then my portfolio review was at one. The con started at ten. So at ten, I got into the con. Uh, I walked for like a minute to look through, just like glance to see like, oh, I'm gonna come back and I'll grab this or I'm gonna talk to this person. Uh, and I stumbled into Titmouse, and then I talked to Supercell, and that like 
just that alone already it was already time for my portfolio review they say to come to your portfolio review at least 20 minutes early i got there like a little bit like 30 minutes early just because because everything's so packed and you don't know how it's gonna be so i didn't I've never done a uh, portfolio review there before so i got there extra early just to make sure i can get in line and get in all that so i got there and then uh there was a line but it went fast and then it was like my time for my portfolio review which was just technically not your time it was your time to go wait into another line so i got there i waited uh probably like 45 more minutes after my scheduled time and then i got into the portfolio room and i had to wait another like 30 minutes i think 30 or 40 minutes whatever it was, however long it was it went over the time of an hour and a half plus the hour plus a half an hour i got there early so anyways i would say three hours of my convention day was gone just with the waiting for the portfolio review and doing all that and then by the time I got out of it right I was watching my footage back I thought I did a lot I literally just went to Nick Mundo and St. Chase's table and that's it it's all I did all day that's all I had time for because at St. Chase's table I don't know if you could see his booth was packed like you had to wait in line forever and then I was waiting in line but I was waiting in Chase's booth for like 30 minutes and then I was like damn this is taking hella long so I just told Chase like, hey I'm, I'm gonna be right back I'm gonna go pass my portfolio to some more people so if you're gonna be here for the rest of the day I'm just gonna come right back and he's like oh yeah I'll be here all day so I went to go back to Titmouse to try to give them my portfolio and they weren't they weren't doing it no more but I got stopped by somebody at Adobe and they were showing me the Fresco app and then I got caught up in that and then I was just like oh it's cool I love it and she's like oh uh, you should go make some stickers we have like a, a sticker booth over there and I was like damn stickers I love stickers so I went over there to go make a sticker I was waiting in line to make stickers for another 30 minutes and then I was drawing and I tried to draw as fast like I think I drew for like 10 minutes and by the time I was done with that there was only 20 minutes left in the con so I had to rush back to Chase's table so I can get the print and I forgot to pick up my stickers she's like oh come back in 20 minutes to get your stickers I was like okay I'll be back so I forgot that so I went back to Chase's table still a long line I waited and I was the last person to get something from him and we chatted I included that but uh, yeah if you're coming to white box you got to do at least two days I would recommend three but do at least two I only did one I regret it I assumed one day would have been enough I was like oh what why would I need more days all the panels I wanted to do were on Saturday and I missed them all every single panel I didn't do one panel I went a few times to get a panel and it's so like you have to be there at the right time to get a ticket and then you have to come back later to get into the show so it's hard it's if you're by yourself it's hard but if you're with multiple people i feel like you guys can all coordinate and one person can figure one thing out the other person can figure the other. it's hard it's hard if you're solo but i was solo i'm already thinking about next year like i'm gonna go bigger like better like everybody was amazed by my portfolio the way i made my portfolio i, I noticed like when in the portfolio review room everybody had like their laptops and tablets and i was the only one who brought like a physical piece of media for the reviewer to see so i'm glad i did that every time there's something like that where people are known for bringing in like a certain thing like you go to like a, a shoe cleaning contest everybody's gonna bring their shoes to clean i'm gonna bring i'm gonna bring my car bro i'm gonna show you how good i clean a car not shoes something like that i stupid but i try to just be i try to stand out a little bit it's like it's hard to stand out as an artist because everybody's art i feel like they all want to do the same thing so everybody's art they try to make it look similar like disney or anime and it's hard to stand out but if you're doing something a little different i mean imagine like you're showing your portfolio on a laptop compared to me actually handing you a book that has my portfolio in it i feel like the book is pretty cool i would appreciate it but anyways i'm yapping uh, lightbox was dope 10 out of 10 my favorite convention ever i would say I like i would say i appreciate lightbox more than san diego comic-con but san diego comic-con's hella long so that one is it's just a different ballpark but anyways final thoughts i didn't meet nobody i needed more time i chatted with a few people met a few people got a few mutuals got a lot of love on the portfolio but I just needed more time, man, especially after watching Reddit's footage. I'm just like literally at two spots the whole time. I'm checking the panel rooms and I'm back at St. Chase's booth trying to get a print. <laughs> it's crazy. But anyways, if you're going to Lightbox again, three days, do three days. I, you won't regret it. But then there's this thing about like food. Where do you find food? I cannot find. Well, they had like a food court, but the food wasn't that good. And it, it didn't. I mean, to me, I, you, you smell like food court food. To me, it didn't smell good. It smelled like kind of stingy it smelled overpriced that's what it smelled